Hi, this is Jarish. Welcome to ICAS Cloud and this webinar. This webinar is about Ansible automation. It is a continuation to the previous webinar where I have explained what is automation, what is Ansible and how to get started with Ansible. I have also attached the link of the previous webinar in this description. In today's session, I'm going to explain how to manage inventory in Ansible. We will look into the configuration files and inventory file of Ansible. Quickly to recap what I have explained in the previous webinar. I'll just tell you the main terminologies what I have explained. So the first terminology which you want to know is control node, the device where Ansible software is installed. I have also shown you how to install Ansible software in a Red Hat Enterprise Linux system. So I have connected to the same server where I have installed Ansible. So this is the device which we are going to use to automate other devices. So the devices which we are going to manage using the control node are called managed nodes. After installing Ansible as a control node, we need to create inventory which is the IP address or name of the managed nodes in a configuration file. This is what we are going to deep dive in today's session. The fourth terminology is module or modules. Just after installing Ansible as a control node, there will be a lot of Python or PowerShell programs which will get installed together with within the control node. These are called modules. From the Ansible control node, using the module, if we are doing any single automation whenever needed, that is called a play. Or if we need to do sequential tasks, then we need to write something called playbook. These are the six terminologies which I have explained in my previous webinar. In today's session, I'll log into this control node and I'll show you how to manage inventory. Inventory is a file in the Ansible control node, which is going to have IP address or the name of the remote managed nodes. Just after installing Ansible, Ansible will create a configuration file inside slash etc Ansible with the name ansible.cfg. You can see just after installing Ansible, if you use Ansible hyphen hyphen version, you will be able to see the configuration file, which is slash etc Ansible slash Ansible.cfg. This is considered as the main configuration file of Ansible. 
it has various configurations. So it has 400 plus lines, but I'll just point one configuration, which is about inventory. This main configuration file has a line, which is called inventory, which is pointing to another file, which is slash etc slash ansible slash hosts. That's the default ansible inventory file. So we have a control node. Now I am creating, I'm going to manage inventory file. So the main configuration file says that slash etc slash ansible slash hosts as the inventory file. This is the file where I'm going to edit and I'm going to add the details about the managed nodes. I don't really have any managed node for today's session, but just I'm just going to make some fake entries in this inventory configuration file. But before that, before going to edit this configuration file, I'll tell you what are all the possible ways you can make entry within this configuration file. Let's say we have a lot of managed nodes and if we know the IP addresses of each and every managed node, in this configuration file, we can enter the IP address of the managed nodes. For example, I'll say 10.0.0.10, 10.0.0.20, 10.0.0.30 or 10.0.0.40. Like that, you can keep on adding IP address detail in this file. Or if name is going to resolve either based on local entry or if you have DNS, in this inventory file, you can enter the names. For example, let's say you have the name like server one dot cloud dot com, server two dot cloud dot com. If you have the manage nodes DNS resolvable name like this, you can make entries like this. If we make entry with IP address or with the DNS resolvable name, that is by default considered as an ungrouped entry. This is the first possible way of making entry in this configuration file. Sometimes it is possible to create range About the manage node, if possible, for the IP addresses or the names, you can create range entry within the inventory file. For example, let's say you have to enter around 200, 254 IP addresses in a class C network. Instead of making 254 lines, you can make an entry with 192.168.1. And for example, you have to write, you have to use a square bracket and you have to use one colon 254. It means all the IP addresses in this network. The range can be for IP addresses or it can be even for names. If possible, let's say you have servers with server one, server 2, server 3, up to server 10. Then you can create a range for server 1, 
and you have to use colon 10 dot picascloud.com this types of entries within the configuration ansible inventory file is called range entries now it is possible to group some servers let's say you have two linux servers and let's say you have two windows servers within the inventory file if you create a delimiter with square bracket with the name linux and if your name for the first linux server is server 1 and server 2 you can make entry like this and let's say the name for windows servers or server 3 and server 4 then you can create another group with square bracket and you can say server 3 server 4 it is possible to add range within the group the range should be always within the square bracket separated with the colon So the fourth way of making entry is if you already have multiple groups and if you want to create nested group it's possible for example let's say you have already a group called linux and a group called windows now if you want to create a group for example with the name web servers you can make an entry in square bracket but you have to use colon children if you use the keyword colon children the entry is going to this group is going to have nested groups within it for example linux and windows so these are the methods in which you can make entry within the inventory file So I have told you the possibilities. Now let us go to the inventory file and I'll make some entries. So I have told you about ungrouped entries. I have told how to create group, how to create range, how to create nested group. Now let me edit this file slash etc ansible slash hosts and I'll make some entries related to the managed node. But like I said, I don't really have managed nodes. Just for this demo, I'll make some entries. So if you are opening this file for the first time, whatever i have told you it's already there within this inventory file you can read about it it says the line starting with hash is command and the blank lines are ignored and always the group starts with a delimiter and like i said you can enter host names or ip addresses and the host name or ip address which we are entering in this inventory file can be part of multiple groups and here you have few examples so these these are four ungrouped entries and this is this is a group called web servers 
and you have an example for range and you have another group entry for db servers and another example for range i'll ignore all these lines i'll just open a new line at the end of this file and i'll just make two ip address entry for example 10.0.0.10 10.0.0.20 and i'll make two entries with the name server one dot ecoscloud.com and server two dot ecoscloud.com this is considered as ungrouped entry now i'll create a group with the name linux so it should be in square bracket and i'll add two entries there I'll give a range entry saying server three colon six dot ecascloud dot com. It means server three dot ecascloud dot com, server four dot ecascloud dot com, server five dot ecascloud dot com, and server six dot ecascloud dot com. It's four entries. And I'll create create one more group with the name Windows. And I'll say server seven to ten dot ecascloud dot com. Just to show you how to create a nested group, I'll create a group with the name called Web Servers. But it has to be with colon children. It means we are going to add groups within this group called web server. So we have two groups, one is with the name Linux and another is with the name Windows. So just for this demo, I have added two IP addresses, two names, and all these four are ungrouped. And I have created in total three groups, one with the name Linux, another with the name Windows. Within the Linux group and within the Windows group, you have range entries. And this group, because it is mentioned as colon children, it means it's going to have groups within this group. I'll save this file. Even though I don't have the managed nodes, I can verify using an Ansible command to check whether a specific IP address or the name is there in the inventory file or not. In today's session, because I am not going to do any automation with the managed nodes, I have added some fake entries within this managed node, but still we will be able to verify whether a specific IP address or a name is there within the inventory file or not. So to do to check that, there is a command called ansible hyphen hyphen list hyphen posts. But before that, we need to enter the IP address or the name which we have already entered within the inventory file. I'll use ansible and I'll say 10.0.0.10 space hyphen hyphen list hyphen hosts. This command will read the configuration file slash etz ansible slash ansible.cfg and because the default inventory file is slash etc slash ansible slash hosts, it will check whether the IP 10.0.0.10 .10 is there in the inventory or not. If there is an entry, it will respond with the same name. If there is no entry, then we'll get no host found. So now I'll use Ansible IP address and hyphen hyphen list hyphen hosts. 
and it says hosts hosts one and it shows the IP address which is 10.0.0.10 .10, which means the entry which I am verifying is already within the inventory file. But if I look for 10.0.0.50 which I which we have not added in the inventory file then we are going to get an error. It means that this entry is not within the inventory file. It says could not match the supplied host button ignoring 10.0.0.50. I'll be also telling you all the other ways of verifying. We can use ungrouped. Ungrouped is predefined within Ansible. If you use Ansible ungrouped hyphen hyphen list hyphen hosts, if there is an entry within the Ansible host file, inventory file, which are ungrouped, it is just going to show the ungrouped entries. In our case, we'll get four entries, which is 10.0.0.10, 10.0.0.20.server1.ecascloud.com and server2.ecascloud.com. If I want to check a group and its entries, I can use the group which I have already defined. So we have defined already a group called Linux, so I can use Ansible, the group name which is Linux, hyphen hyphen list hyphen hosts. So the group Linux had four entries. We have created with the range command. So it shows the four entries, which is server three, four, five, six. Similarly, we can verify the group Windows. Windows group also had a range entry from 7 to 10. Right, it shows 7 to 10. We also created a nested group with a name called web servers. So, which is the combination of both Linux and Windows group. So, it shows all the servers within the nested group called web servers. You can also use all within Ansible, which means it's going to call all the entries within the inventory file. So these are the entries which we have entered within the Ansible inventory file. Because we have not did any automation, even if you don't have these managed nodes, you will be able to verify it. So just after installation, this Ansible main configuration file is pointing slash etc Ansible slash host as the main inventory file. But it's not always going to be this file. If needed, it is possible to edit this main file and we can point it to a different configuration file. So even though we have added few entries here, now what I'll do is I'll just edit this main configuration file and I'll point to a different file, which is for example, slash SRV slash inventory. Or let me create within slash temp so I'll uncomment this entry and I'll point it to slash temp slash inventory earlier because the main configuration file pointed to slash etc slash ansible slash hosts. When we use the verification command, it was able to fetch the entries which we entered within the inventory file. But now if I use the same command, because it is now pointing to slash temp slash inventory, 
and there is no file we have not created a file with the name slash time slash inventory so this time it's going to fail it says unable to parse slash time slash inventory so just for example i'll create a file within slash tem with the name inventory and i'll just make one entry with the name called node one and now if i use ansible all hyphen hyphen list hyphen hosts because i have created a file within slash tem with the name inventory it's now going to show that one file one line right even though in a production environment so it's not going to be always this main configuration file and this main inventory file but i have shown you how to edit the inventory file and how to what are all the ways to enter the details about the manage node my aim was just to teach you how to enter details about the manage node either as ungrouped or grouped or in a ranged way or as a nested group normally in a large enterprise so if you have different projects and if you are entering all the informations about managed node in this main inventory it's going to sometimes expose the ip details for whoever is logging into the control room so it's not going to be the main ansible configuration file and the inventory file so it's going to be project directories so i have not told you how to create a project directory in our next session webinar i'll show you how to create a ansible project directory and inventory files then we will also have managed nodes then we will gradually start doing simple automations thanks for watching